After months of waiting, here it is, the Palm Pre, the brand new smartphone from Palm that will be available on the Sprint network in the next day or so. PhoneScoop is going to do something a little bit different this time around with the video. Um, we're going to do one master video here, which just gives you a general overview of the phone, but we're going to dive deeper into uh, all of the features separately, and uh, you can watch those videos um, you know, if you care to see a little bit more about how each of the functions works. This video is just going to concentrate on the hardware and the main uh, web OS operating system. So you can see the uh, the Palm is uh, very round and smooth. Of course, uh, Palm said it was fashioned after a, a river stone or a rock that you would find in the bottom of a river. Um, comfortable to hold in the hand feels nice to grip like this and uh, given the shape and size it fits easily into any pocket that you care to uh, to put it in we've got lone uh, one single button here on the front on the left side we have just uh, the volume toggle here nothing along the bottom nothing along the right except for the hatch covering the micro usb port and uh, on the back we've got uh, camera flash and the speaker and on the very top, we have a full 3.5 millimeter uh, headset jack as well as the silence key and power and unlock key. Pressing the power and unlock key, you can see, we'll, uh, we'll just uh, f unlock the screen. You can check the time and, and see some messages and things like that. The slider mechanism works pretty well. Uh, it was a little stiff when I first got the phone, but now that I've been using it for a few weeks, or excuse me, for one week, uh, it is, uh, you know, feels a little bit better. What I don't like is this, uh, this ridge here. It's, uh, it's very sharp and, uh, and, you know, digs into your thumb or fingers. Uh, it's not very comfortable. As for the keyboard itself, you can see the buttons are, uh, are, are minimal. They're very small. And uh, and have uh, you know just a very small shape and contour to them. You know the the keys don't offer that much travel and feedback. It's uh, it's again minimal, not a whole lot going on here. But uh, you know most people will probably be able to get uh, get used to this keyboard in just a matter of uh, several days' use. When open, it still has a pretty slim profile. We've got a banana shape going on, and on the back you can see there's actually a mirror. And uh, we'll um, we'll get the uh, so you can see the mirror there and uh, can be used you know to uh, to to check your makeup if you're you know uh, a makeup wearing person or you know signal overhead aircraft for uh, for rescue uh, if you're trapped on a desert island um, so that's the uh, the mirror now that we've seen the hardware. Let's take a look at, uh, at the software a little bit more. The Pre uses the new web OS mobile operating system from Palm. It's a brand new, uh, brand new smartphone platform that's developed uh, from the ground up and uh, incorporates a lot of web technologies into making it all work. You can see along the bottom we've got uh, pretty much constant access to the phone, contacts, email, calendar, and then the launcher button. Uh, each of these applications does exactly what you expect it to. The launcher button is really uh, is really the main menu of the phone. You can see here a uh, basic uh, grid pattern and uh, we've got little arrows here indicating that there are two more pages of these uh, applications. We can scroll and uh, now you've got one page to the left and, and one page to the right here on the, uh, on the screen. And any new applications you download from the apps catalog go here, they get piled into the first page, and uh, you know appears to be an unlimited number of, uh, of applications that you can load. Want to get rid of this, hit the, uh, the key uh, at the bottom of the phone or hit the launcher button again, and uh, that will take you uh, back to the home screen. Let's fire up an application real quick so you can see a little bit about how navigation works. We'll go to uh, the memo application which will launch here in just a second. So uh, we want to type a new memo. We'll hit memo, type in some text, and uh, there's a menu key up here, which is present on a lot of the, uh, a lot of the uh, phone systems, and uh, this lets us cut, copy, and paste, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll save that. So uh, it looks like we can uh, set a color. That looks good to me. And uh, we want to go back. We swipe back here, 
uh, which takes us back to the uh, to the to the main memo screen here. This area of the front face of the pre is sensitive to touch and uh, lets you scroll back and uh, and you can see here we've uh, we've deactivated this card and if we want to we can just whoosh, fling it and get rid of it and uh, and not deal with it anymore. That's basically how you close an application on the Palm Pre. You can of course have a lot of applications open at one time. We'll load up the uh, messaging application and then we'll load up uh, our pictures which will take a second to load here and uh, we'll load up our videos and we'll load up tasks. So you can see now we have a number of different applications running at once and each of them is stored on these uh, what, what Palm calls cards. You can scroll through them easily and jump to any of these applications. This essentially just sends the application to the background. Uh, if you want to clear up some user memory so that you can do other tasks, you can just get rid of it. We can uh, toss things off at will and of course open things up whenever we want to. So that's the, the basics of how WebOS works. Um, there's a lot of features you know, included on the pre, you know, messaging, a web browser, camera, uh, photo gallery, music player, you know, video player, and uh, Google Maps, of course. Also has uh, Sprint services integrated. You know, we've got Sprint TV, navigation, uh, the Sprint page, and its NASCAR application. There's uh, the app catalog, uh, YouTube client, and Amazon MP3 client. And uh, on the last page here, you'll see all the different uh, tools that you can use to configure and set up the phone. So this is our main overview of the phone. And uh, if you want to see some, uh, some more in-depth looks at other features, please check out PhoneScoop's other videos on the Palm Pre.